Steam Link now enables you to stream your favorite games from your Steam library directly from your computer to the Quest 3 or Quest 2, of course using the power of your high performance computer. In this quick video I want to go over some essential settings you should check out to ensure you get the best image clarity. Currently I am enjoying flying a beautiful Boeing in Aerofly FS4 using Steam Link in my living room. Aerofly is fantastic by the way, very optimized for VR and allows you to manipulate all buttons with your bare hands. But okay, now let's enhance the image quality. Open your Steam VR menu in game. Then go to the bottom left and you will see Steam Link. In the next page the settings will be set to auto. Change the target bandwidth to manual. Mine was set by default to 200 I believe, but I changed it to 350. If you set it to the lowest settings, you will notice artifacts appearing. An interesting setting is the encoded video size just below it. Try reducing this to the minimum. The only sharp area will be the exact center of the headsets and well I have mine set to the maximum as I didn't notice much of a performance hit. Another important point is that the game I am playing right now, the simulation, is quite performance heavy. So I prefer a native FPS of 72 and not play in a 90Hz mode where it would be constantly reprojected. So to change that, uh, open the Steam VR menu again, but this time we go to video settings. Here you can change the refresh rate, which was set to 90 by default for me, and I changed that to 72 Hz. Also the render resolution was set quite high for me by default and I just don't understand why it does that. And I think a lot of people don't know about this and it, it, it takes it's a, it's a big performance hit here. I personally set mine to 100% and I then adjust the render scaling to a higher percentage in game. You don't want to do this in both Steam VR and in the game at the same time. Now note that you need to restart Steam VR for these changes, the refresh rate and the render scaling to take, in, uh, to take effect. Now let's hope there is more to come from this feature Steam Link that Valve just released. Let's hope new games will come out, a new headset, well, I keep dreaming, I keep dreaming. Also virtual desktop is a very good if not much better alternative right now than the Steam uh, Link. Now I hope these tips were helpful and oh yeah, if you think that flying game is cool, check out my full flight in VR. It's pretty awesome. Ciao ciao!